Let our friend go and we won't hurt you. Much. Oh, hey. Hi. <coughs> go away, old man. Old man. Wow. Antonio Banderas. Should have been there for them. Who's the girl with the black hair? She's my daughter. You're what? Are you a hostage? No! No, just stop pointing your gun at our guys, right? A made man! Tonight you are nobody. Cora, when did you get out? And I'm a prisoner in my own house! Then to do with it. You have everything to do with it. Cult Killer is a 2024 American crime thriller directed by John Keyes. Excuse me. When a renowned private investigator is murdered, his protege takes on the case. Eventually, the situation forces her to cooperate with the killer to uncover some of the town's rich and powerful people's secrets. It's all yours. Shoot? Yeah. Because of the presence of Antonio Banderas, I watched the film, but disappointed. He only got the supporting role, the protagonist is Alice Eve. Coming back out of his ass. I will fucking murder you, bitch. The lead Alice Eve is not bad in this film. Here Banderas is as the mentor and guide to Alice's character. His character appears mostly in the flashbacks. But like, everyone knows how they As far as performance is concerned, Shelley Hennig as the killer done her role well. All went for as the mean sadistic abuser nailed it, she is really intimidating. Some of the other actors like, Matthew Tompkins and Paul Reed, are also did their part well. What the fuck are you doing in my house? Oh, we received a call from a concerned citizen about men with guns. The plot has potential but they messed it up. The script is a joke. There is no momentum at all. The flashbacks and present scenario runs back and forth makes it more boring. Hey Cassie Holt. It's pretty much soundproof in there. The director John Key Eyes is a dud. His earlier films were also not impressive. This film doesn't have those twists and turns a murder story needed. The story is not at all engaging as the viewers can easily guess the outcome. I think that might be close enough. What's the matter? Are you afraid I'm going to hurt you? Believe me, you are in far more danger than I am right now. The background music and cinematography are ordinary. This film gives a feel of a B-grade movie, I would rate this a 4.1 out of 10.